and I'm 60 right now, and I am way healthier now than I was back then. And just to help you understand this a little bit more, I want to go through my genetics, okay? I had my genes tested just to kind of push this point home. Now, many of you may have gotten your DNA tested before. Some of you have not. It does give you some valuable information what potential problems you could have if your habits and your environment are not quite right. So then you can align your actual biology with the correct things to do. But first, let me just tell you what's going on with my genes. I do have an autoimmune risk for gluten, and it just so happens to be part of this gene right here. So if I consume gluten, I'm at risk of getting an inflammatory issue with my gut. Every time we went on a vacation, my wife and I, I would end up in some bed in some hotel all night long with stomach pain because I would be eating a ton of wheat products with gluten. And I had really no awareness back then of the connection, but I sure do now. And I do not consume any gluten whatsoever. And I'm 60 right now and I am way healthier now than I was back then. Now that's good and bad because what happened, because I was eating so poorly in the first part of my life, I became such a cripple from inflammation that that woke me up and I was aware and I needed to change something versus other people. It might not affect them initially, but later on in life, they might find out about it. So on the positive side, my immune system is strong to prevent against things like cancer because my immune system can kill off cancer better than other genetics. But on the flip side, if I go off my eating plan, I become an inflamed cripple. I'm very susceptible to developing autoimmune disease, but only if my environment is not matching those genetics.